This is a really quick video actually, just um, well, for the longest time I've been using the standard, you can guys see them here, right? These, uh, yeah, these guys here. Uh, standard, Sankey, Taps. So, Kegerator used to have uh, two homebrew and two commercial. So, I have roommates now, so I, I promised them I would add another tap for commercial kegs and reduce one of the homebrew kegs. Um, so, I started looking into to Sankey Taps, and you know, these are pretty standard, the ones where you turn and you grab the lever here and push down come straight up. The problem with this come straight up is that when I close the lid here um, sometimes this gets bent and uh, I've had a couple of leaks start around here at the base of this tap. Let me zoom in a bit here for you guys. There we go. So this bend here would sometimes have a leak at the bottom um, and, you know I'm using the standard you know the things that you close these off with but um, I saw some leaks. So what I've done is I purchased this. It's actually a stainless steel Sankey tap. It's from uh, Perlick and they're known in the, in the brewing world of having really good uh, faucets. I use their faucets over here. Um, so you've got your, this tag will come off eventually, but you know, your CO2 release valve, your uh, CO2 comes in here, beer comes out there, and all you're doing is you're putting it down and you're doing a turn. There's no, uh, there's no locking mechanism to pull up on, uh, which is great because I drink a lot of Imperial Stouts. Um, Found his Imperial Sal, Bourbon County, and Old Rasputin, and uh, with the those tend to get stuck <laughs> from all the sugar in the beer here. So, um, so this helps me a lot. I mean, I don't go through kegs as fast as a bar would, so my taps will stay tapped for six months before I finally clean the lines because it's the same beer going in there. And sorry, uh, I mean my IPAs obviously get cleaned, but not my Imperial Stouts. So anyway, this is my Perlick faucet. You don't have the problem of this guy coming up and you don't have the problem of the lever getting stuck. You could just use your fingers or even use a big vice grip here to unturn and turn back on. Looks really nice. I like that it's flat. I like how the low profile is. Uh, it'll even mean that I could, over time, switch the additional taps over and make it um, um, even stack some beers on top of these without really any damage. So it's kind of nice. So I thought I'd show this off real quick. Not just a quick video for you guys on the difference between the Perlick uh, stainless steel and the regular old school, you know, turn and lock uh, faucets. Well, not faucets, but taps. Um, yeah, that's it. So basically, uh, you know, I've got the Eden uh, Courant Rosé Cider on tap, uh, BCS 2012, and then uh, double IPA, Vermont IPA will go on tap here on Wednesday, which will be great. And then, um, my buddies just want to have switchback on tap, so I'll end up grabbing switchback kegs and just keep those on for those guys because they're it's a good local, local favorite. One other thing I did to the kegerator recently, as you can see back here, I've got this pink uh, insulation, which is fine. It works great. It holds the the cool air in really well. But over here, where I'm touching, I don't know if you can see this or not. Yeah, over here, I also had the same insulation up, and what's happening is the faucet um, shanks basically to screw the faucets in and keep this from moving. Uh, it kept getting digging into the insulation, so I stripped the insulation completely. Got a, I think it's a one by three, one by four here, and now uh, less insulation. You can feel a little bit of cold air on the outside of the wood here, but um, these don't, these don't move anymore, which is nice. Uh, that's it for the kegerator update. Thanks for watching.